Welcome to the video. Methodical Man here coming to you guys with another video for you. Basically today what we're going to be talking about is how to set up your DX feed for My Funded Futures and Profit Trade um, on Quantower and how to set up your copier to trade across both. So if you're unfamiliar, I have a video on my channel talking about how the Quantower copier works. If you're not familiar with how it works, uh, go and watch that video. It's pretty simple to set up. So I'm just going to kind of give you the bare bones um, setup process here for this stuff. I'm not really going to get into how the copier works. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, you have an idea of how that works. So what the idea of this video is to show you how to trade across rhythmic and DX feed connections. So we'll start with my funded futures. So to set up a DX feed connection with my funded futures, you're going to come down, you're going to find the DX feed, which is here. You're going to select it, right click on it in order to rename the connection to whatever you want it to be named. As you can see, I have it named uh, my funded futures. So if you right click on it, you can rename it, but let's disconnect from that. So the My Funded Futures, you're going to have it selected over here to Real on DX Feed, Username, Password, click Connect. Pretty simple. Um, profit Trade's slightly different in that it has to be instead of, uh, where's my Profit Trade? Oh, it's down here. Instead of DX Feed by itself, it's actually DX Feed Prop. So as you can see here, there's your DX Feed Prop. I have it renamed Profit, profit Trade. So you would just hit, hit the plus sign right there and uh you can rename it if you just simply right click on it rename it to whatever you want <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> obviously profit trader would probably be an ideal name right and then uh, this is also going to be on real username password click connect um, the only thing i will say about this your username and password if you are just now signing up for profit trade is the login that they sent you for your actual dashboard account. The username and password is the same. So now that we're connected to both accounts, let's get into the copy trader and show you guys how to set that up. So if you are copying across Quantower, you should have these three tabs open at all times, positions, working orders, and copy trading. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set up a new copy trader just for this purpose. And we're just gonna name it DX Feed and um, Rhythmic. Why not? Okay. And what we'll do is we're just gonna throw some accounts on here. It doesn't matter what accounts they are. They are. Obviously we wanna have different ones. Bulinox, how about Apex? Why not take Profit Trader? Throw a little Fast Track and we'll throw a little Profit Trade on there. So now this is our copier. We have one, two, three, four, five, six accounts set up to trade here. So um, this is basically how you set up the copy trader um, in general, if you're just doing standard copy trading. Now, this is the key to getting, getting these accounts to copy across one another. Right here where it says no custom map symbols, you need to click on that. And we're gonna go select parent symbol. Now the key here is you want the parent symbol to be the same symbol as the account that you're using. So we're currently using a My Funded Futures account. So we want it to be the My Funded Futures connection. So if we click on it, if we click on it here, um, basically we're just gonna go to the My Funded Futures connection and we're gonna make sure that this is trading whatever symbol we want to be using. So in, in my case, it's gonna be uh, NQ. So I'm going to scroll down. We're going to find the NQ and we're going to choose NQZ4. Now the child symbol, you, you can put this in here if you want. And I think it will copy across all of them. I don't do that. So what I would do is go through here individually. And next I'm going to find my Beulah Knox connection. I think it might already be on there. Make sure you're on your Beulah Knox connection because this is a Beulah Knox account. Again, choose NQZ4. Apex, select it. Let's choose our Apex connection. We're just going to make sure it's on Apex. We're going to choose NQZ4. And you can see how it shows the connection here. My Funded Futures, Bielinox, Apex, so on and so forth for the rest of the connections here. So each connection has to have its own connection for whatever account you're actually using. 
Profit trade, same thing. We got it on in Q Z4. Let me find it, make sure. And so this is the way that the copier knows what connection the account's actually using. Without this set up, you're unable to copy across DX feed and rhythmic accounts. So here we see we're using 2034 on my funded futures. I'm going to go ahead and save it and we're going to run, click run. It's going to say it's going to copy across. We're just going to click yes. And now I'm going to, uh, let me move this over here. Actually, I'm going to leave it here now. I'm going to go ahead and change this connection to my, my funded futures connection. And uh, we're going to use that one that we have as the lead. All right. And then I uh, don't remember what was the, what was the lead one? You guys remember 2034? Maybe you have a better memory than I do. All right. So 2034. So now when we go over here and we put in working order out, let's just throw a short order down here. We're going to see that it's copying across Apex, Fast Track, Bulinox, My Funded Futures all together. So, and then of course the lead account's not showing up here, but that's it. That's how you do it. Nice and simple. Um, not really anything hard about it, right? And uh, so that's just kind of the bare bones of how you set up the copy trader to copy across the DX feed and rhythmic. If you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. We do stream live every day, 9, 15 AM to usually one or two o'clock in the afternoon. If you guys want to support the channel, use any of the links, coupon codes down below. And that's it. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.